it is I. Now in Forza Horizon 5, if you want a fast car, you get a Koenigsegg Desco. If you want a Goliath Monster, you get a Testo Elemento. And if you want a Drift Missile, you pick one of the Formula Drift cars. But what if you want a car that's quirky and fun? Well, that is why I made this video, as here are 10 cars with interesting quirks and features in Forza Horizon 5. Now before we get into this video, make sure to decimate that like button. If you can hit 4,000 likes, then I'll find more quirky cars for part 2. Or if you guys know any extras, then leave them in the comments down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so the quirky stuff I need to show you is in the auto show, because if you open this here, oh my god, big mountain, yeah? It's not looking good, bruv. Anyways, um... <laughs> But one of the main things I want to show you is if you open this door and then if you open this engine bay, there is a secret compartment which you can open up and look at that! That, my friends, is the luggage compartment for this car because of course this car doesn't have a boot or a trunk. And guess what? It's the same on the other side. And of course another quirky thing is the interior because look at it, it's a Bugatti. They go nuts with the interiors of this car. I mean, look at, look at that dashboard. It's got a belt buckle on the dashboard. What do you mean? But yeah, this interior gets so much cooler when you actually take this car for a drive. One thing really cool about the interior is when you drive fast, the air vents move. I, I don't know how well you can see that. If I switch to this camera, you can see a little bit better. The air vents are moving whilst you're driving. How amazing is that? And also something else, look at the paddles. The paddles are moving when you're driving fast. But one thing which I don't understand is if the paddles can move when you're driving, why don't they move when you shift the gears? Yeah, I don't know guys, that's a little bit sus if you ask me. So yeah, Bugatti is on the first car on the list and it is very quirky indeed. I Nearly crashed into an RX-8. Now the second car on this list is the Mercedes X-Class, aka the pickup truck from Mercedes. Now this car isn't the fastest car as you can probably tell, but I think there's an actual reason behind this. Because if you go into Forza Vista and open up the bonnet, if you take a look at the engine bay, uh, it, it does not look like a real engine. Most of it is literally just a weird texture that you'd expect to see when you're driving the car. And look at that weird intake coaster which goes nowhere, like why is it there? There should be like an induction box or something there, but there isn't, It's just, it's just it just goes nowhere. Man, I started so bad, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> so yep, the X-Class is a very broken car, but I guess it's quirky if the engine text is that. Oh, nah, nah, it's just broken, isn't it? <laughs> Now the next car in the list is the Zenvo TSRS, and the reason why it's in this video is, I, I mean, I, I, do I do I even have to speak about this? Look at the wing, man! It's not just some random chassis mount wing without that doesn't, it, it literally moves, look at this, what the hell is that? My man's dancing, you know, look at that, when have you ever seen movement like that? What is this, Shakira, you know? Now the next car in this video is this Audi RS4 Avant. So yep, I got this car and I actually really like it. And it is all thanks to one reason. Okay, so this car seems like an NPC car, like a car that you see every day and not really care about. But something special about this car is if you go inside the car and look at the steering wheel trim, it is blue, just like the paint of the car. That's because the interior trim is colour matched to the paint of your actual car. How amazing is that? And it's not just factory paints either. You know, I'm going to choose pink for the bands here. <laughs> and now, if you go inside this pink car, let me open the door. Look at that, it's pink trim! Oh my god, I feel like Jeffree Star. Oh my god, look at that. Even the climate control dials change colour. Man, this is incredible. I love this so much. Hey, Forza, you need to do this to more cars in the game. Like, have it like a secondary paint colour or something, like interior trim. This is like a good way to introduce interior customization into the franchise. So, Forza, please do this. This is incredible. <laughs> Is another NPC sort of looking car, very ordinary car. I mean, if you're a car guy, you know it's not ordinary. This is a Skyline R31 GTSR. And yeah, it's really cool. So what's quirky about this? The fact that the rear wheels turn. This car has rear wheel steering. What do you mean? Look at that. I can steer. It's like a lorry, you know. Now, I know this isn't the only car to have rear wheel steering. So many cars have rear wheel steering, like Ferraris and more GTRs in the game. This should be a customization part. Come on, Forza. I mean, Gran Turismo are doing it, so I don't see why you can't be doing it. I mean, Gran Turismo probably have a much higher budget than Forza, but I, come on Forza, this should be a customization part, this is so cool. 
Now here is a very non-ordinary looking car, the TVR Sagaris or Sagaris, I, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's a TVR. So what's so quirky about this car right here, you say? Well, well, you must be blind if you can't see what's quirky about this car. First of all, the paint, I mean, look at the paint. Also, one other thing to point out is the door handle, which is, you see that little dot under the door mirror? Yep, that is the door handle for the car. You press it and then the door opens. Also, if you're not blind, then you may have noticed the exhaust tips. They are side exit exhaust on the back also look at the wing it's a glass wing when have you ever seen a glass wing on a car before shut up i'm getting a bit emotional you know also look at the roof the roof has a little bubble on the driver's side and i think that's for helmets i think when you're taking this car for a track day and look at the crazy vents that run alongside the body of the car which are not actually vents hey the interior is so crazy look at the steering wheel look at the speedometer so yeah maserati oh no this is not maserati there's a tvr cigaris this my friends is a very quirky car now a car that I recently bought on the auction house for just 100,000 credits because I missed the event where they actually made this car unlockable is the E86 and I am so glad I unlocked this car because this car is packed full of quirks and features. The first quirk is of course the pop-up headlights which are at the moment closed but don't worry because there's a way to actually open up the headlights. So as you can see I am not in the tunnel, I mean I am kind of but as you can see the lights are off but if I pan my camera inside the tunnel the lights open up. Man that is incredible and if here it's off again here it opens up. Also another really cool feature with this car is if you go into the cockpit camera angle and drive above 62 miles per hour or 60 miles per hour make sure you're in a low gear so you can hear this properly wait for it wait for it how incredible is that? Now you can't hear it on the exterior camera angle, you need to be in the cockpit camera angle or this one to hear it but yeah how amazing is that? This is incredible. <laughs> Mercedes AMG one is definitely a quirky car that deserves to be in this video. First of all because it's powered by a Formula 1 engine that's crazy to see in a video game like this. And also the main reason this is in the video yeah? Let me let me stop by this cactus here yeah? I just flipped the switch and watch this. Oh my god. Watch 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 how long has it got? There you go. And uh, look at this one. Oi! And now the car is driving in the normal mode. How cool is that? Before it was in race mode. Now it's in comfort I think and I don't know how much this affects the car. Either way, I don't care. I don't care if it affects the car or not. This is just an incredible feature to have. Big up force for having this and having this as a cover car. I predicted this would be the cover car. That's crazy, you know. Now this is the Auto Union D, which is a car from 1926. Nope, 1939. I was so off. <laughs> but yeah, this car is incredible. I love it so much, even though I don't care about this car. I just love it. Now, one reason I love it is because, look, it has no headlights. Because this is meant to be a race car, and race cars don't need headlights because the track is always lit. However, when you take this car for a drive, it magically gets headlights. And these are possibly the ugliest headlights I've ever seen on a car. Why would you put this on this car? And also another really quirky feature about this car is watch this car shifting. Yep, I'm shifting the car right now, but the hands don't do anything. How incredible is that? In 1939, they had telepathic shifting. Man, they were so ahead of the time back then. Telepathic shifting! Back then, you know. <laughs> Oh my god, this Ford Mac here is so much fun to drive. You could slide this around everywhere. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun with this car. Oh no, I'm gonna go into the dunes. Oh my god, look how little grip I have in the sand. This car's going nowhere. Well, no worries, because in the flick of a switch, all-wheel drive, you know, as Black Panther says, yeah? So yeah, that's really quirky, the fact that you can switch from rear-wheel drive to all-wheel drive in this car. Also, another really cool thing to point out is the badge, because it lights up. As you can see right now, it's not lit up, and then now it lights up. That is so incredible, you know? and to guess what it's the same on the back and another really cool thing is the placement of the number plate because as you can see there is no number plate instead it's a sticker that's on the left tail light which is pretty odd looking but it's so cool how you can like just apply text onto here yeah man this car very quirky love it or hate it i love this car in this game now if you enjoyed this video then you might enjoy this video up here so make sure to leave a like here also if you want to subscribe to my channel then there's a button down below here which would guide you to my channel where you can subscribe anyways have a good one guys Cheers.